Welcome to Lads, welcome to part 14 of the old Austin build. And you find me heading off to the machine shop to get Ian's head skipped. The place I'm going to is a fella who's been there bloody years. And I've always used them. The only problem with this place, they can't do balancing. So I'm going to have to find somewhere else to get my crank balanced. So that's the head pretty much finished, just going to lap them valves in there and that'll be it done. So the next job is to get the rotating mass balance. Well there's a bit of a problem with that because there's a two week lead in time on the machine shop and I need a flywheel. So for the moment I'm going to move on. Right as the sun's out I'm going to have a bit of a play out here for a bit so I'm gonna fit this front grille this is the piece that came off the Austin 10 now it's a pretty good shape so I'm gonna use that so the first thing I'm gonna do is chop this off Okay, this is the sort of position, but obviously it's very upright. It's even leaning forward for a bit, actually. So what I've done is I've split these up here, and now I'm gonna bend this back until I find the place, which I think I've found already. And that worked all right. Now this, this piece here gives this a bit of support, and what I'll do is I'll weld a bit between there. Just make that rigid. I think mean, that's about it. So what do you reckon? What do you reckon's gonna happen? Alright, now you might be getting the idea. Alright, I'm kind of getting that now. So what I've done is put a bit of angle on the front and this angle's made of duralim. And what duralim is, is the aluminium they used to make aeroplanes out of in World War II. So that should have been an aeroplane. <laughs> Well, 
there you go that's the sort of idea now obviously this has got to be trimmed up a bit better on this and then that would be tigged in there and that puts a nice support in between the two yeah now this curl stops your beak from pushing forward i think it's going to be quite a nice comfy little seat that one right so i've had a busy old week this week but not on the austin to be fair mainly this week i've been working on the hook i've been tightening everything up and getting it ready to sell and it did sell and the dude who bought it is really cool he's got big plans for it and what's really cool is he only lives up the road so i'm going to pop up and see him when he's done a bit and we can have an update so we can see what happens to the hook i'm going to miss the old hook he's got a lot of character and i watched myself build him which is nuts whenever i built anything else i hadn't even taken photos from the old project to the current project and over here is the next project now this is a 1937 morris 104 i originally was going to use this for this project but the austin came up and it's smaller and lighter so i decided save this for something else the advantages to this one is it's got 10 inches more track it's got five inches more wheelbase and it's got juice brakes which is cool so what am i going to do with this well originally i was going to use the old austin body which is tucked in behind there but this is where i get really excited because this week i'm going up to see dave who i got the austin of and he's got a body up there i've been trying to get off him for a while and he's finally caved and i'm gonna go and get it all i'm gonna tell you about it is it's 1924 and it is cool as hell and i'm hoping he's gonna go on mori yeah now i know i short changed you a bit this week i haven't really done much on him so directly after this is a bonus video of something i did this week and it was a real laugh and i really enjoyed it now there's a there's a bit of swearing on there because I did get excited, so you're going to have to excuse that. But have a watch of the video directly after this. Anyway, boys, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment and a like and all that. And I'll catch you next week. And watch this video. Hang loose. So we're doing an urbex and we're in this really cool set of woods here. I think you're gonna I think you're gonna freak out when you see what's here. You're gonna freak out when you see what's here. <laughs> and he was talking to me. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? As we're running up the first motors on its side. And it's a Fiat by the look of it. This looks like a Fiat 127. Those going out the front. We've got a lot of implement. Holy fuck, fuck. Fuck me. Fuck. Oh, look at the size of this, fuck me. What the fuck's that? Oh my god! Holy fuck! I honestly can't believe this. This is my my sort of heaven. I want to buy the fucking place. Just fucking root for all this shit. Look at the fucking size of emo. What the fuck's that? Oh my god! Washing machines, big barrels. Of Look at this little fucking thing. It's an airport thing. Oh, there's too much for me. I can't take this all in. It's, it's, it's destroying my mind thinking this is all sitting here. Perkins. Fuck, look. Fuck. And it goes on. Look at this. How cool this is. Steel wheels. It's actually got steels all the way around. Yeah, it's just got no tyres on it. But this is the bonnet skin. <laughs> no motor in it. He's empty. Not DAF 33 or something. Belt drive. Very automatic. Look at the state of these. 
Oh, there's stuff everywhere you look. Look what you see is in there. That's a mini, that is. What? And what we got here? That is definitely a Humber Hawk. Humber Hawks use big old six straight six and a Hemi. Oh, and there's a console here. That's what this is. Four cylinder, 1703. Six, look, six wheeler, isn't it? An old gun carriage of some sort. That looks like another comma. Peugeot. Creo 5. Still not even under it. Front fell off the Aston Martin on you. Looks like another Humber. Humber Estate. Look at that. Little stubby. Been parked up here a few years. Nature's taken hold. Nature's definitely taken hold of it. 